Uh, yeah, look, it's been a good start um, from the whole bowling group. I think we've taken 30 wickets uh, over the three games and um, definitely makes my job a little easier when um, our opening boys take wickets up front. Um, but yeah, pleasing um, to help contribute each game. Um, been getting a little bit of bounce out of the wickets over here, which has been really nice. Um, working out a few areas of, of how to put batters under pressure and, and fortunately I've got some rewards, which is great. But um, Always moving on to the next game. Every ground we play at is a lot different. I've only played out here at Trent Bridge once, um, and so it's once again a different ground with different dimensions and a different pitch. So um, we'll look to sort of adjust for that one, and hopefully we can keep it continue. Are you doing anything different than you might have done, say, during the last home season? Because uh, your consistency has been impressive. Uh, I'm always looking to improve, um, but yeah, as I said, it's it's easy when. We get early wickets up front, it puts a bit more pressure on the batting side and then um, the way I sort of bowl, it, it makes it a bit more difficult. But i um, always looking to improve my game, um, just become a little bit better. And, and fortunately we have such an experienced bowling group around me which we talk a lot with amongst each other and, and get along really well, which makes the learning process a lot easier. And, and particularly when we're out there in the middle and playing and we're talking about different ideas, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty positive environment to be playing in. So, yeah, it's, it's really good so far. <laughs> That's a funny question. Um, I don't think no, <laughs> don't wake up too much like that. Uh, it's been an interesting start for the the World Cup with the games here. Obviously, we keep an eye on different grounds and um, how the matches go, but um, the West Indies show that. There's that extra bounce at Trent Bridge, and that's caused some trouble um, for Australia as well, who are good players of the short ball. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's tournament cricket, and it's an interesting one where um, if you can create a little bit of pressure, it sort of builds up a little bit um, because it, you play each team once and you need to win and move on. Um, so, yeah, of course, it's, it's known as a high scoring ground, but in a way that adds pressure probably to the batters more than the bowlers. Um, but yeah, no, looking forward to another challenge, and I, I really enjoy um, Trent Bridge as the ground, so I'm looking forward to getting out there. Mark, uh, India's Shikara is in the world, so it must be pretty welcome news for you, given he's, given he's pretty formidable. Uh, yeah, oh, well, he's one of the top batsmen in the world, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully he's not out for too long. Uh, you never want to see players missing games from injuries. I think he got hit in the hand, didn't he? So, um, yeah, look, it's, it's one of those things of professional sport players get injured and then um, other guys get opportunity um, but yeah um, I was looking forward to playing him for sure I quite like bowling against lefties but um, unfortunately I have to wait a, a couple more months probably. No? Just on the start that, that you guys have had, it seems like so many elements have come together to almost give you the perfect start whether it's contributing to different players, conditions, playing teams that are, are not going to bother you. Is that uh, look, I think, as I said sort of earlier, tournament cricket's one of those crazy ones where I know in the Black Apps we talk a lot about um, turning up to the ground we're playing, working out the conditions, um, the team we're playing, um, doing the scouting, playing the team as well as we can, and then we've been fortunate to get three wins and play some good cricket, uh, and then moving on very quickly to our next opponent. So um, that's one of our main focuses for the Black Caps. Um, we often talk about it. Um, but more, more in particular at a, at a World Cup where every team you play is worth two points, so they're just as important as each other. Oh, look, I think that's, uh, that's you know, it's part of the game of cricket. We, in New Zealand, we often get games rained out, um, but it's, it's really hard to make a call on that um, two days out. Um, I know there's been a bit of rain today and potentially tomorrow, but uh, hopefully Thursday's fine and we'll get a full game of, of playing, but... It's hard to make a call on how we'll adjust our strategy for Thursday if it is rain affected. Um, but yeah, once again, it's just the Black Caps talk a lot about adjusting our, our game plans depending on the pitch and if and if weather plays a part, then we'll just adjust for it. And for uh, same as we scout a lot of players. I mean, Eng India's a, an exceptional side with world class players, and so naturally we do our scouting workout. Um, strategies that will put them under pressure, um, particularly at a ground like Trent Bridge, where the the tradition's been that there's been a high scoring rate. Um, as I said, it puts pressure on batters to score those runs, and if and if they get out, then um, we get early wickets, and once again that pressure um, accumulates. And we've done that in the first three games, looking to take wickets throughout. Um, puts a lot of pressure back on the batting lineup, and um, if we can keep continuing to do that through the World Cup, then um, that's that's pretty much how we'll go. But yeah, of course, Hardik's a very good player, so we'll have to do our scouting for him for sure.
front. And don't swing the ball up front, so I uh, tend to bowl those sort of middle overs and, and look to create chances and create wickets. But um, I think you look at the last game, Jimmy Nish came in and, and bowled the way we know he can bowl, and he can bowl quick too, and he gets a lot of bounce. He's a big lad. Um, so I'm sure he'll, he'll fill that role as well. Um, but it's, it's, it's important in our team that we sort of focus on what we do the best, um, and and when we're, we're playing good cricket, we tend to stick to the things we do well. Um, but yeah, it's exciting for Trent Bridge to have a bit of bounce and, and hopefully it plays in our favour. I don't know if I was to critique his bowling, I think he's been bowling exceptionally well, um, creating a lot of chances for us up front. And, and that's the nature of international cricket. Sometimes the chances don't get taken, but other times um, they do. And, and Trent, he's world class, um, very professional guy. And, um, the way he talks about his bowling is, is pretty inspiring, if I'm honest, and um, I'm sure he'll, he'll turn his way very soon, and, and hopefully it's on Thursday. That'd be great. How does it affect us, the rain? Yeah. Um, me, personally, it's... Um, with the quick turnarounds in cricket... Um, Training, I sort of bowl a bit less uh, at training, and then obviously in the games, it tends to ramp up a bit. So um, with quick turnarounds, I'm not too worried if I don't get much training in between, um, but I can't comment for batters or others. But me personally, I, I look to just tick over and, and make sure my action's feeling good and, and my body's feeling good going into the games. Um, might work on a few skills, but, um, but yeah, the way we've been trucking, the boys are taking a lot of confidence, and so, yeah, we're feeling good. Last couple of what's in the net uh, one day series win? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, they showed us that they were a lot, probably a lot more patient in a way. And um, although we were looking to take wickets, um, sometimes they got a little bit expensive. But um, I think I think taking wickets up front's key to India. Um, but if not, then creating pressure and building dots. Um, they're world class players, so you're not going to blow them out of the water. But if you can build up enough pressure against them and then create a half chance, and that could be the wicket, and then you can and build from there. But Obviously, they're playing some good cricket, cricket India, and um, one of the top teams in the competition. But uh, we're definitely looking forward to an opportunity playing them in, in, in England, which uh, we haven't played in, in a while, I guess, in England. So I'm um, looking forward to the opportunity for sure. Uh, if, if it's rain, oh, that's hard to tell me. It's, it's two days out, so um, we want to play. Uh, it's, it's the World Cup. Uh, we're playing against India in the World Cup, and it's an opportunity to get two points. And... Um, we don't want to get rained out games. I don't think any players do. Um, but if, if that happens, then, then so, but we can't control that. Um, but, yeah, of course, we're looking forward to playing India um, and building some confidence against them. Uh, Zing Bowers, is, it's a tough one. It's, uh, I guess it's happened a few times, but um, it, it's, it's probably above my paycheck, if I'm honest, to answer a question about the bails. Um, I certainly don't have much to do with the stumps, but um, yeah, it sort of happens in cricket from time to time, and I can't really comment too much further on that. Sorry, mate, can you just say that once more? Two can you... spinners. Play, yeah. Two spinners in their playing eleven with Wayne Chahal and Kulita. What is your strategy to face on them during the middle over? Me personally? No. <laughs> hopefully not too much, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just joking. Uh, no, they're, they're world-class spinners. Um, played with Kuldi, um in India, and, and he, he's a world-class leg, leg spinner. So um, I think it's an important part to, I guess, take it over with those guys. Um, they're looking to take wickets throughout, which I think a lot of bowlers will say throughout this World Cup is that um, we're looking to take wickets because that slows down the run rate. Um, but, yeah, probably a question maybe better um, directed at one of our top order. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, warm-up game is an interesting one. Um, don't always tell the full story. But I think the way that Trey bowled up front in that game was exceptional and um, he got us off to a great start with early wickets. And if you do that to an Indian side, you put the pressure back on them. Um, of course, that's the game plan. Um, to look to take wickets up front. Um, but yeah, I mean, of course we can take some confidence from that, but it was at a different ground, so it's, it's hard to take too much. But we'll start um, Thursday from fresh over. Um, both teams start on zero runs, so we'll go from there.